forgot. <sighs> Remember when you were a little squirt and your parents were always like, hey, don't go too fast on your bicycle, you could really hurt yourself. Or always wear a helmet. That advice doesn't sound so stupid anymore. What a wonderful That advice could have really helped me on my trip. As you guys know, I went to West Virginia. I got a little muddy, a little dirty, actually a lot dirty. What a wonderful world. As you probably noticed, I haven't been using my left hand a lot, and that is because I got into an accident. No, unfortunately not that. It was way, way worse. And unfortunately for you and me, I was not wearing a GoPro. I wish I were wearing a GoPro. But instead we scraped up my helmet and screwed up my wrist for nothing. There goes Jake's bike. Oh, it broke his fender. <laughs> Jake broke his front fender. His bike looks like a trials bike now. Why'd you break your fender? I wanted to waste some Braptastic stickers. You wanted to waste the Braptastic stickers? Yeah. That's not very Braptastic. But the entire vacation didn't start out with me screwing up my hand. No, we did get some riding in. And when we first got there, Jake and Seth were so much better than I was because I've only really gotten on a bike like 10 times this year. To be quite honest, I was actually anxious when we first got there because I'm like, man, these guys are too good. I'm not gonna be able to keep up. I used to have a bike that sounded like that. <laughs> then it blew up. I mean, Jake's coming in like first place on open sea classes, which is really good. This is like his first real year racing. He's coming in first place. Seth, he's making steps forward. Send it, Seth, flip and send it. Me, well, I'm really good at making messes. Does, does that count for anything? Going green, baby, going green. Really? Just a small one, though. Still going green. Gotta save the environment, folks. You have to save the environment. Come on! If you can't save the environment, and you're not a serious tree hugger like myself, then society says you're a bad person. I'm totally kidding. Start that engine up and let her rip. If you want to be a tree hugger, then there's not a problem with that. I have no problem with that at all, either. I figured I'd, you know, check out the mountain real quick. Test out the Honda's durability. So yes, at first we started at a slower pace and then eventually I got into a faster pace. Well, unfortunately, I thought I was getting a little too good and I was thanking the man upstairs for how fast I was improving in that short vacation time. Unfortunately, right after I got done thanking him, I crashed. And I crashed hard. You know, usually when you crash, it's like slow motion. Or when you fall off of something, it's like slow motion. Well, I'll tell you what. I fell so hard and so fast that it felt like that. I don't know what part of my body hit first. All I know is I hit the front brakes a little too hard on some slippery rock and boom! I was down. Like I said, I wasn't wearing a GoPro, but luckily Minnie had her phone. Minnie is Jake's mother. She had her phone, so she got some nice wide angle shots. I mean, I was still on the ground. I was in pain. My wrist hurt. My knees hurt. Rock isn't the softest thing in the world, believe it or not. Luckily, when I crashed, I was only about a mile away from town. So I drove to town without a clutch because my left hand really wouldn't work. So I did all I could to pull in the clutch. And then once the clutch was pulled in the first initial time, I just kept my distance from Jake and Seth. When they stopped at the stop sign, I would just roll through the stop sign. Not very uh, practical or legal, <sighs> but you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Luckily, we were staying with a subscriber. His name is Kendall. 
him and his family came down and picked me up from the Wendy's. After that event, I didn't do much riding after that, let's just say that. So let me tell you how I really felt. I was feeling really, really good after that day and a half of, you know, practice, because like I said, I haven't been on a bike in a long time. I went ahead and passed Seth. Seth was talking a whole bunch of smack if you watch my previous videos. He was talking all sorts of smack on the Honda. His, his blue bike, his Yamaha, is better than the Honda, so I wanted to show him that the Honda, you know, even though uh, she's heavy and she's a four-stroke, it can still beat Seth's bike. So I went ahead and passed him. Obviously, you don't have the GoPro. Was feeling so good, I passed Jake the Toilet Snake. Now, granted, it was difficult, but I managed to pass him. I was ahead of him for like 500 yards. He, he still stayed tight to me, but I saw that rock. There was like a 20-foot cliff right at that rock, so I panicked. Slammed on the front brake. Well, didn't really slam on him, but I tapped him a little too hard. And down I went. And that's how I kind of screwed up my wrist. I will be going to the doctor soon. We'll see if this thing's broken or not. Hopefully it's not. My mother thinks it is. I, I'm just running it. But everybody on vacation did end up crashing. Seth, Jake, Kendall, everybody. And a lot of it didn't make it on camera, such as this one. Nope. <laughs> So just took out him and. Get that fire crap down, all fire crap.